All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We're back with another video. I'm off from work this week, hence the uh, scruffy beard for this video. My apologies on that. Uh, but we're back with a couple of uh, sealed to reveals or uh, late unboxings as I'm enjoying the lovely southwestern Ontario weather. We're getting socked uh, with snow uh, this afternoon as I'm recording this. Uh, so yeah, it's two vinyl box sets that I picked up uh, certainly well after their uh, initial release. Uh, the first one is a Zappa. This is the original motion picture soundtrack. So this is the five LP set. I had picked up the uh, three uh, CD uh, set when it was initially released and absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it. Kind of had an eye on the vinyl box set, but initially I thought the the price was too much, but I'd seen on Amazon that the price had gone down considerably. So here we are. Uh, and the Hype Sticker uh, 180 gram black vinyl edition, I'm assuming there's other colored vinyl editions, uh, contains the original motion picture soundtrack to the acclaimed Zappa documentary by Alex Winter, features unreleased material from the vault and standout tracks from Zappa's vast catalog, some pressed on vinyl for the first time. Also includes uh, selections from the original score composed specifically for the film and again uh, same number as on the CD in terms of the uh, Zappa archive release this is number 118 in the Zappa archive release okay so let's uh, open it up and take a look inside and this one is presented in the sort of the standard uh, kind of box which you're not seeing quite so much you're seeing a lot of the slip cases and that sort of thing but this is in the Sort of more traditional box which is kind of nice i do like that okay let's get the shrink off here all right i'll just put that over there of course we'll save the hype sticker for later and there we have it very nice and hopefully you can see all the tracks listings here and it does look like the three cd set does translate here to the five lp cent And we got, yeah, 118 Zap original motion picture soundtrack. And it's interesting, this is printed, it looks like it's printed right on. So it was so often, uh, this is like a sheet that's on the back um, that comes off. But no, that's printed right on the box, so, which is quite nice. I like how the sort of the picture goes all the way around kind of thing, which is very nice. Okay. All right, let's lift the lid off here. And nothing on the back there. Then right off the top, looks like we can got a nice at least LP size booklet. And we'll take a look at that in just a bit. Yeah, okay. And then we've got record one right here. And they're all like listed. I don't know, you can't really see that. It just says the original motion picture soundtrack record one. And interesting that, wow, that's kind of nice, that like that and that. And these are, in fact, polyline sleeves. But uh, yeah, I like the, the fact that it matches the cover. That is very nice. And overall, an absolutely terrific, like, uh, amazing soundtrack. Kind of hard to see there. Yeah, I like how the label, at least one side matches the cover. That's quite clever. I like that. Very nice. And oh, looks like we got some stuff so kind of going on the inside of the box here, which we'll show you in just a bit here. And yeah, a nice, really nice overview of Frank Zappa. Okay, that's the front. There's been so many uh, movies and documentaries on Frank Zappa. Okay, there's... Oh, so this one, okay, there you go. Replicating the back there as well. And that, and that's so that's pretty nice. I really like the way that they, with the idea for the labels, the way they've uh, replicated uh, sort of both the cover and the back, uh, if you will. That's really quite clever. The back, and then the front. That is, that's quite clever. 
quite clever indeed. And then there's actually, uh, on the LP box here, there's actually writing uh, going on the inside here. Oh, which is kind of a nice little touch here. Okay. It says, my desires are simple. All I want to do is get a good performance and a good recording of everything that I ever wrote so I can hear it. And if anybody else wants to hear it, that's great too. Sounds easy, but it's really hard to do. <laughs> it's a great uh, Zappa quote. So I'm just going to quickly uh, put this over here, get this out of the way, and then we'll take a look at the booklet. And I don't know, it's just, uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to say uh, without going through it piece by piece, but boy, it seems like... I don't know, there are more pictures kind of available uh, uh, in the, in the uh, vinyl uh, box set than maybe is available uh, on, with this booklet. Uh, that's quite possible, I don't know. So let's take a look at the LP size booklet that they have here. And it's not too, it's not too big, maybe not too extensive, but let's see uh, what we've got here. Okay. So yeah, not a lot of analysis or text, that's for sure. But yeah, there's just a little bit going on there, not too, too much. But again, uh, by comparison, so this again is the C, like set, set, and we've got some replicated on that. And then uh, the booklet for here, I guess is replicating, yes, it's certainly replicating some of the, uh, see all the LP uh, covers. Uh, through this booklet here, which is nice, you know, it's, you know, you don't feel like you're getting shortchanged. You know, it's not too, too bad. Okay, so there you have it. That's the uh, Frank Zappa one. And the other one that I picked up at my record store, I don't know why I waited so long and it wasn't necessarily on sale or anything like that, but I just was like, okay, I've seen so many people uh, talk about this and it's such an iconic set. Uh, this is uh, Grateful Dead, uh, Fillmore West, 1969, uh, March 2nd, uh, part of a series of releases and uh, Grateful Dead's final performance from the historic 1969 four night run at the Fillmore West, first time on vinyl, 5 LP, 180 gram vinyl, and etched 10th side. Limited edition of 9,000. This was a record, door, record store day exclusive. Uh, mixed and mastered from the original 16-track uh, analogs. Tapes by Jeffrey Norman. And uh, produced for release by David Lemieux. Yeah, I've seen that. You know, so many people show this for whatever reason. I didn't pick it up initially. Limited edition 9,000. Um, and I'm not sure where the number uh, is on this offhand, uh, but not that it matters. Again, on Rhino Records, and again, the same style of uh, box as the uh, Frank Zappa one, so that's kind of nice. Okay, as I watch the snow continue to fall down where I am. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah, the slipcase is fine. I don't mind it, but I'm still a fan of just when the lid, like the sort of more traditional uh, style for LP uh, boxes. And you get that kind of shine going on there. So again, legendary performances and nothing on the back there. Okay, there's that. And it looks like we've got, we open it up with the Looks like I'm assuming the booklet right off the top here. And oh, it's just a, yeah, just a very straightforward. Lots to read, but that is it. And again, here's, there's the spotlight on the band. Certainly the great uh, Grateful Dead lineup for 1969. Can't go wrong with that. And then the uh, LPs are simply housed in like that. Okay, and there's no, I don't think there's any ribbon or anything like that. No, it doesn't appear to be. Okay, you might hear the snow plow actually going by. And it's just not a straightforward vinyl, uh, black vinyl. Uh, Polyline sleeves, very nice. But uh, yeah, very straightforward with the uh, 
don't know. Now I'll take the one out. Oops. Oh, that's... Okay. Yeah, not a lot. I mean, it's not bad. Actually, the label isn't too, too bad once you get a better look at it. But it looks like the same, roughly, I think, the same labeling on all the sides here. And with this, you know, we're just getting a few tracks each side. But yeah, we'll have to take, of course, a look at the etched finals side. And yeah, it's interesting with these etched sides. A lot of people don't care for that. I am i don't know what I think. I don't really have an, an issue with an etched side in terms of the final, uh, if the music isn't gonna be able to be, you know, stretched out over, you know, so many LPs kind of thing. I don't terribly mind it. But I do feel, yeah, I can see where you, oh, wow. <laughs> that is That is pretty cool. Wow. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. Just trying to see. Okay, there we go. Grateful Dead. It was kind of hard to make that out. Hopefully you can see some of that. So it says Grateful here and then Dead there. But wow, that is something. Look at that. Very cool. But yeah, again, with the next side, you feel like you're getting kind of ripped off music or having to pay for the product where you're not even getting you know music on that side. But... Ah, it is what it is. And sometimes you get some pretty cool etchings, <laughs> for sure. Okay, so there you go. We got a little bit of Grateful Dead and a little bit of Frank Zappa. So that's uh, going to do it uh, for me. Uh, and uh, we will chat again soon. i probably got to go out and uh, shovel some snow. So again, uh, do take care and we'll chat again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.